Who is Jerry the Xenomorph? He was actually a synthetic modeled in the image of an alien. He was identical to them and could even make similar sounds. Although he was not made for combat, he could defend himself and was actually made to infiltrate a hive. Although he was not the first synthetic xenomorph because he was made to be more developed than another model called Norbert. Jerry was more friendly, able to speak with good reasoning skills, and had special programming that prevented him from harming humans. Jerry was stationed at a facility run entirely by synthetics. The only human at this location was Dr. Nordling who designed all the synthetics here. His research was based around the xenomorphs and its captured queen alien. The queen would lay eggs and the drone aliens would hide them within their contained hive. So Dr. Nordling would have to use Jerry to retrieve the eggs. He was fitted with pheromone secretors that allowed him to go within the hive. This gave him the perfect method of blending with other aliens. Although similar pheromone collars were used on standard synthetics in some cases, this would not grant them guaranteed protection because the xenomorph is able to sense sound vibrations of an object, and if its body does not match another alien, they will attack. Although Jerry was the perfect subject to retrieve the eggs, he would sometimes run into problems with a large synthetic named Dean. This synthetic was armed with weapons and was covered in a neutra gel that was resistant to the xenomorph's acid blood. Dean would be sent in sometimes to kill the aliens before Jerry would move in to retrieve any synthetic bodies or alien eggs. Jerry would have to speak to Dean when they ran into each other. It was his ability to speak that saved him from being killed by Dean. During his story, two humans named Philip and Joy Strunk came to Dr. Nordling's facility to deliver photoreceptors and they discover that Dr. Nordling's work has exceeded a previous person named Stan Mayakovsky who created Norbert for infiltrating another hive. Dr. Nordling was conducting painful research on the xenomorph species and also mistreated his synthetics. Although Phil and Joy thought about bringing up charges against him, they were captured by him but later on rescued by Jerry. When they tried to escape, they get a hold of weapons with some help from the android Dr. Payne. Then a battle occurs with Dr. Nordling releasing the aliens while the synthetics destroy all the research in the facility. Since Jerry was programmed to protect human lives, he fights against Lizzie and then battles the aliens while using firearms. The story of Jerry ends with him getting into the escape pod that Dr. Nordling uses. He lights a cigar filled with a virus that is activated by extreme heat. And since Jerry's body was damaged in the battle, he could not follow his prime directive anymore. He lights the cigar and it kills Dr. Nordling. Jerry's body continues to break down and we can only assume he shut down after this event. So that was a look at a synthetic xenomorph known as Jerry. What did you think about this character and his story? Let me know in the comments section. If you want to see more videos like this, then have a look around my channel as I've covered many topics across the comic books, movies, and video games. And don't forget to subscribe as I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos and I'll see you in the next video.